Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Trash Sports News. I'm Sebastian with my co-host Travis and Adam. We have an action-packed show for you today. First, we're going to start talking about more Kevin Durant news and how his impact will focus to the Warriors. And later on, we will talk about our Super Bowl predictions and take a phone, take a call. Our number is 781-259-8262. So, Travis, more news just came out that Durant um, lied about who, where that and told uh, Westbrook that he was gonna stay in OKC. Do you have any thoughts? And well, I wouldn't say he lied. I would just say he changed his decision because he like he, he thought about it. He said he told Westbrook, "Well, I probably am going to stay in OKC," which is what everybody else thought too. That's what the whole world thought. And then he's changed his mind afterwards, which you can't really Westbrook can't control. And I I can respect both of them for that, but. It's, it's Durant's decision in the end. Yeah, I read the article, and it seemed kind of like Westbrook was under the, uh, the kind of implication that Durant was going to stay, and even saying that he had been really aggressively trying to bid or get a bid in on a multi-million dollar house to, uh, in the Oklahoma City area to stay with the team. Uh, and obviously this was a shock to Russell Westbrook because there have been trade rumors of him going to L.A., Boston, uh, a couple slipped in from New York. I'm feeling that's just optimistic Nick fans. Um, but, yeah, I mean, are. I think Russell Westbrook's kind of in shock because he he would now view him very differently. Their friendship has yeah. definitely changed. I expect to see a very angry Russell Westbrook yeah. at the start of the season because now he's never really been on a team where it's his team because um, – you know, we've seen him play without Durant and OKC, but even then, you still got Durant on the sidelines chirping, kind of leading his guys, but now it's just Westbrook. So it'd be cool to see how he, uh, one of the best players in the league, obviously still rising, uh, many to be considered him, one of the best guards in the league, see how he can lead a team and maybe make a playoff run that we don't really expect. Yeah. When, um, when Westbrook didn't have Durant, he had 11 triple doubles and he averaged 30.8 points yeah. per game, so we know he can produce I'm expecting Durant. to see that Westbrook at the start of the yes. season. Um, also, with his presence in um, Golden State, I really don't think it will help his legacy, even though he's all talking about how he wants to build his legacy, because it's not going to be his team. He's going to be joining Steph Curry's team, and he's just going to be like the sidekick who like still dominates, but he's not, it's not, he's not going to be known as it for his, his team. If he stayed in OKC or even went to a different team like Boston or Denver, for instance, it, he would still probably take the reins and it would still build to his legacy. Yeah, I think um, with all those superstars on the same team, it's going to be hard to distribute the ball around. I remember um, back a few years ago, the Lakers, they were all hyped up. They had, a re- they had Dwight Howard, Kobe, Metta World Peace. Steve Nash. Uh, Steve Nash. They were all real good, and everyone was saying, oh, they might win the championship. I don't. I'm not saying that that's going to happen this year, but I don't think they're going to live up to all the expectations. They're still going to be an incredible team. They're going to be a great team. I think they could, they're still going to be the one seed in the West, but they're not going to be as good as everyone yeah. makes them up to be. Something funny. Back in 2012, when like the Lakers super team and the Heat super team got formed, Durant actually tweeted something out, like kind of criticizing the, the fact that these teams are being formed. And like, but now it's like kind of hypocritical now that he decided to join the um, team. Well, uh, oh, we have a caller now. It's Jake from State Farm. Jake. Hey guys, thanks for taking my call. Uh, just want some. I'm a big football fan, so I want. Uh, I want to know your Super Bowl predictions. Oh, nice. Thank you. So, um, I I think it's going to be. I would say the Panthers and probably the Steelers. The Panthers. Um, they. I know they lost Josh Norman. I can't think of a good reason to take them off. I mean, they only lost two games all of last season. They they improved their secondary in the draft in the first and second round. Um, Kelvin Benjamin's coming back. I think that's all good. The Steelers also improved their secondary in the draft, and they also got a late-round gem, a linebacker in uh, the seventh round, who I think could be a contributor for them too. Uh, I'm thinking it's kind of a sleeper, but I'm thinking cardinals Bengals because – the Cardinals just have a young team in its hole with some nice veteran presence from Carson Palmer who can still show that he can still get it done on the field. They've had a, they had a really good successful season, and I don't see why not they can't do it again. And as for the Bengals, they're pretty much in the same boat. If Andy Dalton can get healthy, I think he can distribute the ball well to their star receiver, A.J. No, sorry. Yeah, A.J. Green. And they can make another run for the ship too. 
Well, uh, I have Cardinals Patriots. I'm from the New England area, so that might be a bit of bias. I think Tom Brady is going to come back very angry at the NFL and uh, Roger Goodell, and it kind of helps he's playing a team like the Browns that he can just rip up when he comes back. But uh, I got Patriots Cardinals, and it's because the Cardinals, uh, they just, now that the Panthers lost Josh Norman, I really think that's going to hit them harder than uh, they expected and also you have to remember they lost Jared Allen so I think really nothing standing in the Cardinals way at this point um, you know picking up some new pieces on the D-line and uh, some great additions there. Yeah. Thanks for your input and thanks for calling Jay but that'll just about do it for this episode of Trash Sports News thank you